Hello, hello, this is Jorge Silvestrini, and we're going to be doing right now an update to our video of creating a clone for your Mac. Uh, Yosemite has just been released by Apple, and it's very, very important that before we upgrade, we create a backup just in case. And more than a backup, a clone. I want you to have a clone, a working uh, copy of everything in your Mac. Just in case something doesn't work, you can go back to that other hard drive, start up from it, and nothing happened. And you can try it all over again. Okay? So I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do using the new version of Carbon Copy Cloner 4, which just came out. So we're going to do this together. We're going to download it, and we're going to start from zero. And hopefully, uh, by the end, we'll have a great clone that we can use, and then go ahead and update to the new uh, OS and try all the new features as of today. It's free, the new OS, so chances are you want to do it. And um, Carbon Copy Cloner is free also for the next 30 days. So here we go. Let's do it together. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and download right here. CCC 4.0.2.3508. Okay, it's downloaded. Um, there it is. I'm just going to put it on my applications. Replace the old version. Like I said, this is an update. And then we'll do CCC. It's right there. And here it comes. Okay. Um, oh, that's weird. This is the old one. And that's not the one that we wanted. Let's see. About. See, that's the old one. Okay. Hold on. Let's try this one more time. Yes, that should be it. Well, let's look it up over here under my applications. And there it is. Ah, that's a new one. I see it now. Open it. Okay, we see the new one. Trial. So that we can start a brand new trial. There it is. And here's the new one. Here's the, the new CCC. As uh, so I press the show sidebar, it's going to tell me everything that I have. This is a little bit different than before. And then preferences. Um, I already looked them over and pretty much everything should be set already. It's going to ask the general preferences are OK. Software updates. It's just going to update and ask you if you want to. Email settings. This is new. It will send me an email once it's completed. Really don't mind about it. Notifications. Is they're going to show up. And then the advanced, I didn't touch anything in there, okay? So out of there. And all we're doing now is we have three boxes in here, source, destination, and the schedule. Source, I'm going to click, and I'm going to say my springtime, which is the one that I'm running currently from OS X 10.9.5, okay? Now, destination. This will be this one that I have here as empty. It's not empty. It's the actual copy of springtime. So I want it to delete everything else. And we'll tell it to do that right now. The other thing that you could do, if you just want to make sure that there's nothing else, is instead of going there, is go into your disk utility, right? And not this one. This is my main one right now. This one, the empty drive, OK? I can go in here. And this is the way I've always done it, is create a brand new partition, OK? Just say partition layout, go to one. Then in here, let's call it CCC SSD, because that's what it is. It's a solid state drive. CCC, I want to leave this Mac OS extended. I want to make sure that I have a, a GUID partition table. OK, and then I'm going to press Apply. And what this is going to do, it's, it's going to erase the hard drive. And I'm sure I want to do this. So partition, it's going to work its magic in a couple of seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, boom. Mounting the disk. And we should see it here in a sec. I already see it over there. OK, it's done. So there it is. So. Nothing on that disk. I just quit out of there and back into Carbon Copy Cloner. And then 
click to select the destination it's going to be ccc ssd i'm going to click there schedule run when i click clone so as soon as i press clone it's going to start don't need an email like i said clone all the files and over here on the task plan it's going to tell us exactly what what it's it's going to do so ccc will clone springtime to ccc ssd on, only the items that have been modified since the last backup task will be copied now there has never been a backup last run never so it's going to copy everything bearing any hardware compatibility problems destination volume should be bootable and we want to try that before we do anything else and once we do the copy you want to go ahead and boot from this new hard drive just to make sure that everything worked okay so all files the safety net i'm going to leave it on if you turn here and use the advanced settings then you get some more things back here that you can do um tell it to amount stuff run another uh, respect the energy all this stuff things really don't think you're gonna need none of those so i'm gonna go back and use simple settings leave it on and all we need to do now is press clone it's gonna ask me for a password there it is and i tell it to go it's comparing and it started to do its magic okay that's all it needs to do so we'll get back we'll, we'll come back to this video once it's done and check it out okay so we're back and uh, carbon copy cloner has finished so the backup task completed successfully we are it we have a copy of that into that just want to make sure if I go there It looks like it so the other test that you should be doing and that you could do is you go to your system preferences and you're gonna go into your startup disk okay let this work there it is and you can tell it to start now from the copy okay and restart so that it will restart from here and will let us know oh yeah that did work and it should be a complete copy Okay, and that is the process that you should do just before you install the new operating system or any other programs that you're going to install um, if you wish to have a, a clone, a backup of your working machine. Okay, so hope this really helps you uh, just before you install the new operating system. We'll see you soon. Come back to the website and leave me your comments. Press like and subscribe to the channel. Okay. Talk to you soon. Peace. Bye.